I just wanted to show you guys an update on on this latest uh, 3d printed automatic resin mixing vat that I that I came up with uh, this is the last one that I'm gonna print I just wanted to show you how I got it set up um, and the cameras not giving me some very light pictures it's actually pretty dark but anyways I wanted to show you these here um, they slide right into these slots here and they're adjustable for direction of flow okay uh, I did my leaking test and everything seems to work out fine they hook into my hoses like this so they're once the print is done I can easily take them out take the print out and it's no problem um, from now that I know that it's not gonna leak I'm gonna fill this up halfway with the 3d print resin and then I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of days see what happens I was told that uh, 3d print resin affects this plastic this filament negatively so uh, I want to make sure that uh, it's gonna hold up through one full print for uh, succumbing to whatever negative effects the experts tell me that'll happen uh, these little things in the middle I also when I'm testing it I want to these are the plastics that are involved in all this and I want to suspend those in the resin too to see what happens if they hold up or not um, this is just another piece of this pet G filament but it's a thinner piece and I figure if it's gonna go bad it'll affect the thinner pieces first so I just want to see if, if I suspend that in the, the liquid 3d print resin if that starts to melt it'll give me a good indication of what I can expect this is just a solid mass of, of 3d print resin I mean uh, filament so uh, I don't anticipate it going away bad you know I mean uh, this one here if you can see it oh god my camera's all screwed up this one here it's just a piece of the tubing that came with one of my pumps it's like silicone tubing I want to see how that holds up since it's also a sort of plastic this here is a silicone uh, it's the gasket that I use to seal the underside of the vat. I want to see how that holds up. And this here is a quarter inch tubing that, uh, that's, it's this stuff here. I want to see how that holds up. Because uh, uh, if the resin is going to negatively affect anything, it'll be the thinner pieces. The smaller pieces will go first. So uh, I'm going to suspend those into the resin for a day or two just to see how it holds up. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to hold up well, but I don't really know until I try it. So uh, I just wanted to get get you all in the loop and show you exactly what's going on. Um, I made these I made these yesterday. So uh, like I said, they're they slide in and they slide out and they're adjustable for, for flow. Um, originally, I had them a little bit taller than this and a little thinner, so I could test my quarter inch hoses on them. But I cut them off this morning, so I'll be using this this new pump because it seems to be working better than the quarter inch or the, the smaller pump. I don't know if you can see it here. It gives me just the, around, the right amount of flow so that I don't have to connect a, an adjustable potentiometer on it to adjust the flow. So uh, now you're all caught up to date and uh, it's on to the testing.